I, I gotta show you my shirt, what my shirt says. I'll do that. Let me know when we go live. Because that shit told me in the video. Try this one more time. <laughs> It's love. All right. Let me pull up the, the view for us. Yeah. All right. I don't, I don't like my, my shirt. My shirt looks like somebody pulling me like, come here, bitch. Come here. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this crew neck thing. Oh, whatever. Yeah, but, it was though. I know, right? I'm trying to do my pony. Well, hold up. Because I want my pony to be in the kind of like show a little bit. I don't know what. All right. So. I'm trying to do, do my pony. All right. <laughs> this is it's annoying the fuck out of me. Like I, I like ain't nothing going right. My hair falling. <sighs> All right. Okay. Hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ashley Lonnie. Owner of Ashley's Jimmy Tummy, where you have one happy belly. Make sure you go like my business page on Facebook as Ashley Jimmy Tummy Catering. Make sure you go to my YouTube page. Subscribe, like, comment on the YouTube page. It's Ashley Jimmy Tummy. Uh, go to my website, Ashley Jimmy Tummy. Um, make sure you follow my girls, our send them friend requests. Uh, we got Kisa, Kiki, we got Courtney. Um, yeah, so. What this is is um this is a bonus episode for the holidays. I got I'm trying to try to do like Christmassy, you know, stuff. I got my little uh my little five dollar Walmart shirt where it's like um see you on the naughty list, you know. Cause I've been a bad girl. But <laughs> <laughs> well, how do white girls do I need a spanking? <laughs> you know, not really. Okay, but um so we got some very interesting topics. Like, I'm excited about this episode. You know, um, it's the holidays. I mean, it's the holidays. And I was inspired by some things, you know. Um, not saying these topics are pertaining to me or these ladies. But these are just things that be on my mind, you know. All right. So, let's jump into it. Um, how are you guys doing? How, are, how was your day? How was... You know, are you excited for the holidays? My day has been great. I'll go first since Kista ain't say nothing. Um, it don't okay, even feel like pause, Christmas. Pause, pause. Kista, I've been getting feedback. Oh, you got to. They they want they. I don't know why a lot of people aren't agreeing with me. Uh, I'm gonna need more of that, you guys who are watching. But they agree a lot with you uh, with the things that you're saying. I don't. I don't. I don't know why. I've gotten that feedback too. <laughs> I love you jealous, you know, but um, <laughs> they are agreeing. They love your um, opinions, you know, or your thoughts and views. They just want a little more energy, you know, whatever. I don't know what that means, but, you know, but so how are we excited for the holidays? What's, what's going on with you guys? To me, it doesn't feel like Christmas. It feels like it's a regular day and I'm just lucky enough to get a day off. Or two days off, should I say? Uh, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have kids or a man. So I'm starting to, feel like, I'm starting to feel like that song. How that song go? What do the lonely do at Christmas? But I'm not really, I'm not lonely though, you know? So I don't, I don't feel like bad or anything. I'm just like, it's just, like you said, it's just another day, you know? But I, I have went Christmas shopping. I did, you know, I do have you know things you know or whatever but um i love i love this time of year i love gift giving because I, I feel like i'm a, a great gift giver what about you kista yeah are your shopping done are you uh, are, are you have to do like the the black people christmas like income tax income tax uh shopping so, so i uh I, I think i got a couple of hours use out there <laughs> not IOUs. Yeah, a couple of IOUs, you know, which would probably be done around tax time, okay. or unless we get our stimulus check. If we if we oh, get that, oh, uh, oh. cut it, cut I, it. I, <laughs> ain't happening. Ain't happening. I, I agree I, with the. Uh, we need the two thousand. I I agree with that. Like they're giving like cross seed internet. They're just giving them two 
much. I would get it. Six I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I thought I just read something today that the Republicans just rejected that. Yeah, they did. Like, we're not even yeah. getting the 600. They had agreed okay, so, on the 600. They yeah, just, but they sent it, the Senate sent it back. Listen, I don't know. I hope everybody that was out there shopping, just last minute shopping, all you Walmart and Target shoppers and Amazon Prime shoppers, if you were depending on that 600, like if you were spending it and be like, oh, we're going to get the 600. I don't never bank. How the old people say, um, uh, something about the bird in the in the basket in the hand or something. Basically, if it's not in your hand, don't spend it. Somebody gonna know what I'm talking about. That's out there. They gonna know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But all right. So talk. Speaking on gifts, Christmas, holidays. Let's get into our first topic, which is. Not only men have side dishes, sometimes women need a little appetizer themselves, you know? Uh, we're going to call them, we call it sneaky links, uh, boyfriend number two, um, or your side inward, or, you know, or you may not even have titles for them, you know? But uh, women that are in relationships that does have a main boyfriend, what you got a little friend on the side you know it's the holidays do you buy them gifts do you buy your side dude a gift what are your thoughts on that yay nay why and if you do why uh if you say yes then uh is there a spending limit like do they got a budget or like like how, how do you what's the thought process behind if you decide to buy your side dude a gift anyone can go first okay so i'm gonna go first so okay. i thought when i first saw that question uh that kind of went two ways for me okay okay so one way was like how my uncle was bless him so he deceased now but how he was so he had a main okay but he had side pieces now the thing about you said pieces was, like plural Yes. Oh, oh, he had a uh, snacks and snacks. So, yeah, he had he had a couple of snacks. Okay. So, I'm gonna tell you what he did though. Everybody knew about everybody, and everybody knew the main. Okay. The so, main so, is the one that got everything. She got birthday, Christmas, Valentine's. She got everything. The the snacks knew they wouldn't get nothing. So, I, I thought about it that way, but then okay. I thought about it the other way as if. I had, if I could, because I, I can't cheat for nothing, but if I had side pieces or something like that, then I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't get them. I wouldn't get them anything. Okay, let's go with, let's, let's go with your, you wouldn't. Now, if you, if you didn't have morals and you did have a side piece, you did have a, a moral. A little sweet potato pie on the side, you know, a little patty pie <laughs> on the side. Why would you not buy him a gift? You don't think he's worthy? Because he's well, I mean, you're giving him your time and your um, body. I, I see where you're going with that. Me? You that see where I'm Because I mean, I, obviously, I, I, you. Yeah, if you you're giving them the time, you care about them somewhat at least. And you're and you're giving them your body. Why like, why not give them a gift? But there's a more there's something behind it because I'm, I'm gonna explain my, you know. But but why wouldn't you do it? Um. Well, I wouldn't do it because you're like my side dish in the first place. Like you're you hold, you're hold, here, hold right? Like you're just you're here on my when I want and when like that's what side pieces are. It's just when you want. And how you want, so, I mean, and, and usually your side dishes are a little cheap anyway. They, they're they really not expensive. Oh, my God. So, like dollar menus. Right. So, it's like, <laughs> if, if I do have a side, if I do have a little stack of something, sweet potato pie on the side, I mean, it, if I was to get you something, I mean, I probably no more than $5, but. You might as well not get him a gift at all. Okay, right. Gift card, like, damn, get him some, 
Kisa, you can at least get him a Damn. gas car so they can come see you, like the sneaky link. Get him a gas car. Okay. Shut up. A gas car. <laughs> I guess I'm saying, like, at least a gas car. Next meet up on me. <laughs> see, that's, see, that's, see, that's the thing. If, if you're going to be talking about a gas car, you look, get, him, get, him, get him some Gatorade. Get him some little... Gatorade or something. For, hydrate him or something. Like some electric. If you're going to be my little side piece and stuff, like you got to be able, you got to be ready to, to, to get over here and like, and all that stuff. Like, you're nine out of ten. You're a side piece just for a reason and a particular reason, and that's about I've it. Never like, thought you would have said no. I, I would have sworn you would have said, "Oh, of course, that's the godly thing to do." Well, <laughs> you also got to think, Ashley. Keith ain't gonna have like in real life. She ain't gonna have no side piece. Yeah, but she but she is saying if she did have one though. The, she, but I'm she, exactly she so you like she, in real life, Keisha wouldn't have a side piece. So that wouldn't happen to begin with. So if she did have a side piece, why would she do that? You all see that's what I'm true. To say? But I also look at it from a dude point of view too. Like why you think a lot of dudes treat their side piece the way they treat them? Some of them, some treat their side piece like gold because they want to hold on that long. Me, on the other hand, if I just want you here for this one purpose and main purpose, when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to let you go. And I don't want all this other attachment to it. Because, see, that keeps them longer when you start investing all that stuff in them. You're now becoming more than a side piece. Well, I, I'm, well, if I was a side piece, I want, I want the perks. Like, I thought that's what it was. Like, I thought the perks of being a side piece is you get pretty much almost damn near everything that the main chick gets. But you just don't have to deal with the headache. Like, you can send him home. Like, he can go home to his family. And you can just relax and bask in all the luxury and material things, you know, and go on vacations and get your bills paid. And, I would think know. so, too. Doesn't normally, like, the guy give the side piece, like, gifts and stuff to keep her quiet? And depending on their, their source of income, if they have it, they have her a whole apartment. Like, yeah. oh, oh, isn't that a kept woman? I would say that's the kept woman. That's one of the reasons why I do not like that word, but. Yeah, like, like they're at, the side pieces at their beck and call, like what you were saying with your dude, Kisa, that he's whenever you want him, when you want to see him. That's why I was like, well, dog, at least you can get the man a gas card. Like, jeez, let him pull up. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, I look, 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 Damien said, what are you buying with the five dollars? He's curious. <laughs> yeah, what yeah? Good question, Damien. <laughs> Come on. Elaborate. Five dollars. I guess it all depends on who 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 the side piece is, how he is. Like oh, so you got standards. Oh okay. So let's let's just I because now I want to know what exactly you're buy. Because I mean five below is amazing. I don't know if you ever heard of the I story. Need to go there. A lot of people I love that. Deandra, shout out to Deandra. Hi, Deandra. You told me about that, and I still haven't been there yet, but I'm it's going amazing. to go. You can get anything there. But, um, like, okay, let's say he's not someone like, I feel like you would, if you chose to have a side person, it wouldn't be someone that you're like totally, totally into like that. So let's just say, like, you care about the person, like, as a person or so. Like, maybe friend wise, you care about them, like, on that level, not necessarily just strictly just side business. Strictly maybe you care about them as a friend. What are you going to spend on them for, with the $5? Okay, so if I have a caring side to it, more than that then i mean it would be more than five dollars i probably would get you a ten dollar gift card or give you some gas money or oh you ain't oh i mean but that's what i said like i look look at how much i want to keep you around so so okay so with that theory with what you're saying it sounds like you're saying I agree with Ryan. Side, side, side dudes, side pieces does holds no weight. They are replaceable like that um, to you according to what, how you're saying. Um, you don't want them to feel special. You don't want them to, to feel like they um, can question you and say, where you going? When you when I'm going to see you again? Like, you, you just want them to just, hey, I need to see you. Okay. Like, submit to you pretty much. Right, because then what's the point of having a main if they gonna be halfway the main as well? Well, typically a side person is is for sexual gratification anyway. Like, I mean, it's sexual sexual gratification and also like that emotional, like kind of talking. But a lot of women do the pillow talking, which end up getting they 
do kind of jam if they're in that street life or whatever. But um, if you're just like a married mom, housewife type, or just stressed out, you know, it's just a sexual, it's like some people go get manis, petties, some people go get massages. She just like a massage with his clothes on. Me, yeah. me and my old boss, well, not my old boss, but my boss to my second job at the hotel, mm-hmm. she was telling me about one of her friends who prefers to be the side chick like her like she likes to be the side chick to married one uh, married men because she doesn't like being emotionally attached to anyone like that and so that's literally why she does it they could do their therapy. business and go home she and she's therapy. only messing with that person and she to me that's a little iffy I mean she don't really know the person like that already if you already trying to be interested in a married man so you don't know how many other people he's doing this to but she's like it's like a, almost like a safe environment the only person he's going to is that other woman instead of her getting that's emotionally true. man who's going to do the same thing to her that's not true that is so that's what true. she thinks I'm just saying and According then she my talking about how she has another friend who literally deals with married men over the over the self-gratification that she one does that make sense that she um, like what? She, that this man is in a committed relationship he done you know he has the ring he's living in the house but he's still doing what he can to see her she doesn't necessarily have to be actually have feelings for that man but the fact that that man is basically risking everything to have a night yeah, with her like that for real that- it's almost like a power thing yeah actually she needs therapy as well <laughs> I'm not, saying, she, she look, needs, I'm not needs, agreeing with this I'm just saying these are some no, no, I know, I know. You give, you're giving great examples of why women prefer to be we need to have a side chick on the show like I, 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 I don't I couldn't speak on behalf of a side chick the only thing I can say is if I was but I have had other guys you know but um, it's not like there was a secret like I've had like a main dude that I may have talked to and I've had maybe like one or two extra on the side you know like potato wedges you know ketchup you know anyway. um, but those are typically like emotional you know talking or whatever um, and then I realized that I'm such an awesome woman that that doesn't work out because guys act like oh we just friends and then they be trying to slide on in there, you know. I'd be like, "Oh, you no." And then that causes a problem. Then it's just it's just too much. Um. Okay. So what about you, Courtney? Um. The question is, would you get your side guy a gift for the holidays? If not, why? If you did, how much? And what would be the reasons? Take it from there. There's levels to it. I mean, I wouldn't have a side guy because personally, I just think that's just too much work. <laughs> um, it is. When you really think about it, like, it's a lot of work. It is because you got to keep up with this. You got, he whining, he whining, he, like, I ain't come exactly, up with it. Exactly. But say <laughs> if I was willing to put in that work to have a side dude, it okay. would have to, like, okay, so Ryan Wilkerson said, if you get them a gift, they're going to think that it's more than what it is. I would say that's not necessarily true all the time. If the person, like, y'all have made it clear that this is what it is, this is what it's going to be type of thing. That doesn't necessarily work. But, I mean, for some, I'm not saying it always works, but I'm saying for the people that you know that this is what it is, this is what it's going to be type of thing. um, Would I get that? I would probably get that person a gift. Because for me, if if I put in the work to have a side person, I chose you to be my side man, I care about you on some type of level, right? You know what I mean? To some type of level, even if it's very minimal, I care about you because I put, I'm putting in that work for you to be right. (laughs) So I would get them a gift. I don't think I would spend like hundreds of dollars. I'm not going to get, well, we talked about this earlier. It depends. If it was a friends of benefits, that, that changes. But if it was a side, so friends with benefits, and a side dude is too different. That that's the levels that are you that you're saying, like are yeah, because if it's a friends of benefits, that means I'm not in a relationship to begin with. Okay, okay. I wouldn't call someone if I'm in a relationship and I'm seeing someone else too, I wouldn't call them a friends of benefits situation. You can't call that that. That's a side man. 
Okay, so can you have a friends with benefits, meaning there's no commitment, it's just a sexual thing, and recruit somebody like a side dude? Or, or it would he wouldn't be the second guy that you're talking to and dealing with wouldn't be a side dude because you're not in a committed relationship, period. Right, I wouldn't call him a side dude. I know some okay. people be like, you know, I have a main guy that I talk to, but I also talk to other people. I wouldn't call those other people side people. You okay, know what I mean? Because I, I, do I don't, I have someone that I mainly talk to, but they're not my main. We're not together. Right, okay. Okay. So, but if we're talking about a side dude, I would get them a gift, but I wouldn't like spend hundred. like I wouldn't buy him no PS5, but <laughs> I would like, you know, <sighs> maybe like a... Fifty dollar gift card, something like that. Maybe a bottle of cologne. Okay, so, like so, 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 fifty would be your max for your side dude. I guess you could say that, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's if I knew for a fact that they weren't going to take it that way. Now, if they've been a little iffy, talk about I wish it was me instead of him, then I'm not getting that. <laughs> <laughs> so emotionally invested. Because you take right. it too far. Because if you my side man, I already, if I'm making you my side man, I already went in this with no intentions on leaving my main. You know what I mean? I, if, if I wanted to be with you and only you, I, I wouldn't I would be with the person I'm with for my main. But if I'm like, okay, yeah, you could be my side man or whatever, I have no intentions on leaving that person. So I can't, we can't cross that line of emotional investment. All right. Okay. So once again, the question is, um, do your sneaky link or side guy um, deserves, would you get him a gift? Okay. My answer is most definitely yes. I treat all my men. Um, I am Oprah when it comes to gift giving. Or, 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 I like to make people feel special, you know? Um, <laughs> you get a gift. You get a gift. You get a gift. Like, I, I mean, they love me like and I fucks with them you know um I appreciate them like I appreciate all my men past and present (laughs) and if you're watching out there via YouTube when I'm uploading on YouTube like I miss some of y'all you know Um, I miss some of y'all come back to me (laughs) no no because I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to be a committed woman you know this is new to me, but, um, but yeah, I most definitely get all my guys gifts. Um, now as far as limit, it depends on how I feel about you and how you treat me. Your, your gift limit is up to you. It, it, it's totally up to him. Um, if, if like, if you like a lazy side dude, and I, I don't mean just like a sexual type of thing, but I just mean like, I, it's kind of weird kind of going back to what Keith was saying but you kind of need to make me feel like I'm your girl a little bit you know what I mean like even though I may be in a situation or something this is hypothetical but if I'm in a situation like I still want to feel like I'm your girl like I still want to wake up and have like two good morning beautiful text messages one for my main and one for my side I don't care okay he don't have to do it but his gifts will determine that you know you want to be keista five or you want to be court me on 50 or you want to be ashley's yummy to me 500 uh, what, what, what you want to do you know you I, would I, give your side man a 500 dollars gift it, it, yeah i would like i have no problem doing that if he put it in work like well I, actually we've been friends for a couple of years now i want a 500 dollars gift too Courtney, we also do not have a sexual relationship. We, you also don't give me massages. You also don't give me get my nails done, my hair done. You never flew me out anywhere. Like I'll that's fly you out, girl. I know you would, but no, no. Okay, you ain't giving me no sexual relationship. Okay, all right. Okay, so this is the thing. I believe, and 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 this. Please hear me out when I say this. It's like a math equation. I know y'all may trip about the $500. I prom- y'all be like, oh my God, why would you do that? Let me tell you something. And this is facts. The <laughs> Jay Taffy said, what the fuck? Who said that? <laughs> Jay Taffy said, what the fuck? <laughs> he know he be- Anyway. Um, <laughs> he know he spent more. Like, he need to stop. But anyway. Um. 
the me me giving 500 is nothing compared to what they give you when they like you when they fucks with you i'm telling you i i trips hair nails all i'm doing is just like hey how you doing like conversation talking you know if it's a sexual relationship, which typically probably would be, you know, they give you gifts because they're trying to impress you. And then some of them do be wanting to, um, it start out like what Courtney said, like, we know what this is. Ain't no, I'm not leaving my dude or whatever. But some of them start liking you a little more. So they start doing a whole lot more. You ain't even asked for it. You ain't even asked for it. So me putting in the 500 is nothing because he probably done gave me that, like, you probably done invested like 2,500 in me already. I do do math, you know. So, but if I have to overspend, like, it's not a problem with me. So, me, my, my budget for my side dude, you could be a $50 person or you could be a $500 guy. It all depends on how you treat me. And, um, I've spent money like a uh, one guy, you know, uh, one guy recently, like I would have bought him a phone, like he wants a phone. And uh, I was considering purchasing the phone, which was like a thousand dollars. But I was like, nope, calm down, Ashley. I had to talk myself out of it. I was like, calm down. You know, you don't really know him like that. I'm glad yes. you had that conversation with Yeah, no, 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 I'm not like that. I'm like, I ain't no sugar mama, okay? Like, I ain't no sugar mama. But I do math. Like, I spend, depending on how they treat me and how much they done invested in me. So I have no problem, like, um, treating my side. Um, and if I feel like I can, like what Courtney was saying, playing off of what Courtney said, if I don't feel like I'm going to get you anything, I don't, I don't feel like I should even be talking to you. Like, you're pointless. Like, my gift giving... Or my, I do appreciation gifts. It ain't just for holidays. Like one time, like I bought a guy, like, uh, and I listen, I pay attention to my, my guys as well. Um, he liked the 49ers, 40, San Francisco 49ers or whatever. So I was like, oh, okay. So I uh bought him some, like, I went looking for like, uh, me- what is it? Memorabilia or some crap like that. What are you laughing at, Brandon? No, my, my mom was listening to music. I heard something I like. <laughs> oh. So, like, I was looking for stuff, but they had, like, a lot of, because it's, like, a football NFL and stuff, like, they had, like, high-priced stuff. And so the type of guy he was, I was like, I'm not spending no $50 on no hoodie. I ain't spending no $100 on no jacket. So you know what he was? He was a $25 flip-flop guy. I bought us a $25 flip-flop. But there was potential. He, he had potential to get high valued stuff, but the type of energy that he was giving me, you know, he didn't deserve that, but he deserves something because he give me money, you know, he give me time, he give me, you know, so I just wanted to give him like an appreciation token. So I got him flip flops for like $25, you know. So the answer to my question is, yes, I'll give them a gift and their budget depends on how they treat me. Courtney, yes, she would get them a gift, uh, $50 max. Kisa, yes, she would get them a gift if she chose to, you know, have a side guy. Um, her max is $10. Uh, what's the cost? So, Brandon Rogers says, so true, Ashley. It's about the love and appreciation they show you. I can see that. And then he also said if he's doing the same for same or more. And then <laughs> Damien said, 500 you lit, Ash. How much your man get? Oh, my main, oh, listen, let me tell you something. Oh, uh, it depends. It, let, me, let me let me say, okay, with the main guy, they typically don't need anything. They don't need anything. They don't really want anything. This is experience, speaking from experience. They usually just want to see me happy, you know? So the, if anything, they'd be like, I'm, I'm just being honest. Like, I'm just, I'm so serious. So I have to do a little bit more, like a little bit more digging. So I might have to like sneak and like listen to conversations that they're having, you know, with people or, or it may be like a, God damn it. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? Uh, the damn uh, water pump done went out, you know? And so I'm like, uh-huh, water pump. <laughs> That's their appreciation gift, you know? Uh, so I'll do a cash app. 
And then I, in the uh, four part, I'll put water pump, love ya, L-U-V, not L-O-V-E, you know. Um, yeah, so, yeah, but um, to answer the question, usually the main guy, it's not unlimited, but it's usually harder to get stuff for them because they typically already have everything. Um, Cause I, I, I like to deal with men that real men, you know, that can be self-sufficient or whatever. Um, but yeah, do we have any more questions or comments? Just laughing emojis. 